Honey bee, what are you doing? Oh, Lord have mercy. Can you stop sweeping the dirt for a minute? Okay. That is a lot of... I think there's a lot of dirt left in the dirt, even after you sweep the dirt. Oh, anyway, come here. I want to show you what I bought. I spent a lot of money. Knock, knock, Mom. We're in Mom's house. Look what I bought. Oh, star apple and a... What's this? Is that melon? Like, yeah, but she said you're supposed to... Scrape strip it. Strip it? Yeah, scrape. She said strip. Scrape and then pull... Maybe she wanted me to strip. And then star apples? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do I got? Some avocado. We didn't even eat all of our avocado yet. Yeah, but I'm going to eat it. Take those out so we can show what I bought. Mango. Now we can do the mango tango. Can you take them out of the bag? Don't do that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's this what happens if you're flat. This is, if you're flat? Yeah. This is G rating. Maybe nobody saw you do that. Well, so check it out. That was hilarious. Maybe. I don't know. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> old bag lady. That's what I like, an old bag lady for a wife. Okay. Guess how much I spent. We got five very ripe, ready to eat mangoes. Hey, remember how much these little wonky. Missouri? Yeah, Missouri. Like it's like Half this size for a dollar something. Yeah. Almost two dollars. Two dollars. Probably two dollars now something. Not here. We got five star apples and then we got this melon. She wants to strip or so hon. I went crazy and I spent five hundred pesos for it. All of it? Yeah. Sounded like a lot. Ten ten dollars. Well, Seems like a lot. Still a lot for. But in America, this much would be ten dollars. So we got all that for yeah, free. Probably ten dollars in America only this one. Yeah. This one, maybe. Right. Probably more than that. What was I gonna say? Uh, I don't know. We got any more? Yeah. We should have a juicer. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I took the laundry up there. Yeah. Our week's worth of laundry was, guess how much it cost to fold and dry and wash? Uh, 210, which is, um, how much is the yeah. almost $5? Is it? She charged me $120. No, that was 210 $220. No, she said $120. Mm, she must yeah. be mistaken. One load is 220. 220? Uh -huh. so no, it's $2. not because it's $3 a load. You're talking about in Marina, but we're in different. For one load, it's 220 in a day. That's $5. That's $20 a month. Yeah, $20. But, well, even if it is $20 a month, we don't have to own a washing machine or a dryer all her time is spent sweeping dirt and uh entertaining me so that's worth twenty dollars a month and yeah we don't she don't have to do anything but sweep dirt and entertain me dance and sing so that's it i'll show you the house mom can you put that stuff away can you put the mango in the raft Okay, I like the fruit cold. What are you gonna do when you're done sweeping dirt? I don't know. I have a lot to do. Just think when we live inside, you can sweep tile floor. <laughs> Look at this big sand pile she gets to play in.
Oh, and Grayley, yes. you're on YouTube. Why? I don't know why. Uh, Cause you're Guapo, movie star. <laughs> Let's see. So he's up there at the, God, is this thing, I can't get it to zoom. Anyway, he's up there on the guard tower, number one. All this whole front of the castle, he's going to finish just like they already finished around the front door. He's making me a step so I can walk in. Thank you. That's a good step for an old man. See how we finished all this? This is all finished. And then, of course, that's rough. Rough, finished, finished, rough. So he's gonna start up there on this wonky, scary scaffolding and get it all fixed up all the way around. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Everything's looking pretty good. Got a mask man. What are you, a bandito? It's looking pretty good in here. We got our bank doors installed. We got Eric making this. This used to, it looks like a door now, but it used to be a round tree. He cut it down yesterday with the chainsaw <laughs> and he's carving it into a door. Uh. Just like that one. So, bed, bedroom, comfort room, there's mom's room. Look at these giant windows we got. Oh, here's John Ray playing with his concrete um, squirt gun. How's it working? Okay, it's working. So we had these cracks. I'll show you. You know, while we installed the door, obviously there's going to be a little crack here. And in America, we put insulation in there to keep out the cold weather. But here, we fill it with concrete. And I told him to invent a squirt gun <laughs> that squirts concrete. And I said, use two pieces of uh, PVC. But I was joking. I didn't think it was possible. I told him how to make a potato gun. So we have to do that still. Anyway, he sure enough did it. So you could patent that. Maybe you could get a lot of money by teaching people how to do that. There's a little rubber valve, I guess you call it in there. He made it out of his flip-flop. He cut his flip-flop up and made a a one, I just think you call it a one-way valve. The concrete goes in. Well, then you can force it out. Here's a little hidden storage room. We got a guy working on. No, wait, we have two, two guys working on. Here's the second guy. A little bit over 11 foot ceiling in here. So it should stay nice and cool. Here's where we're putting the kitchen. No, you didn't finish the kitchen wall. We still have, so the refrigerator's gonna go there. And I guess I'm gonna plug in my coffee pot there. Put it on the top, like most people. This is our screen room here. Put a washer and dryer if she wants one. We're still living in the bamboo shackaroonio. 
and now it's surrounded by bags of rocks. Hey, Han, you know all these bags of rocks that we have for making cement, which we don't have to do anymore? Now I think we can use those to make sidewalks. So yeah, when you're done sweeping dirt, you can start making sidewalks. Yeah, get all that cleaned up. Yeah, well, it looks better. It'll keep the cobras away. Here's where I have to make an elevator. That ought to be interesting. Maybe I'll go to Harbor Freight and I'm gonna get one of those winches that you put on the front of your truck. <laughs> put a Harbor Freight winch up in the air and raise and lower me. What's the worst that could happen? That's the whole story, Larry. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to buy a sailboat. Don't tell the wife. I went and checked him out yesterday. Next weekend I might tell her. No, I probably won't. Oh, she'll see this video. I'm busted. See ya!